Here we have a very nice looking 2003 BMW 316 Ti SE Compact in silver. Very nice looking car for its age, as we'll see later on in the video. But if we start with the offside front tyre, offside front tyre looking at around 5mm of tread, so plenty enough there. Offside front alloy, very nice condition, very clean looking alloy, with no signs of any curbing whatsoever. Looking down the offside of the vehicle itself, um, taking a good look, I couldn't see any signs of any dinks, any dents, or any damage at all. It is a little bit wet, so I do apologise. Uh, a few stone chips around uh, the front arch, as you can see, just require some touchings. Mirror caps in nice condition, nice and clean there. Looking at the driver's door itself, you've yeah, got a few little marks in the paintwork. A couple of light scratches here and there just require a bit of a polish. Like I said, no signs of any damage whatsoever. You've yeah, got some minor chips to the door edge there, just require a uh, bit of a few touchings. And the same to the bottom of the door there. Still's in nice condition with just a couple of light scratches. And look at the roof, very clean, no signs of any dents or damage there. And moving to the offside rear quarter of the vehicle. Again, very clean looking car. It's clearly been taken care of. A couple of light scratches around the back just require some polish. Offside rear tire, looking at around 4 to 5mm of tread. And then you have got a little bit of a scuff and a bit of a curb mark there on the alloy. Apart from that, there's no other signs of any of the curbing or scuffs. So only a little minor scuff at the top of the alloy. Apart from that, again, nice condition for its age. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. Again, very clean looking at the back. You can see the 316 Ti there. No dinks or dents that I could spot. And especially no signs of any damage. You've got your rear parking sensors there. You have got a few scratches to the back of the boot lid. Very light though, guys, so it just requires a good polish. But like I said, no signs of any damage. A little bit of a scuff there in the paintwork. Again, though, very clean. Take a look in the boots again, just needs a bit of a valet, a bit of a hoover. Very clean, no signs of any dirt or any damage in the boot. So that's all great there. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. Here's a nice looking car. Near side rear tyre, looking at around 4 to 5 mil of tread. So again, plenty there. Near side rear alloy, you've got a little minor scuff to the top there. But apart from that, guys, again, very clean, no signs of any curbing, so all in good order. And then looking down the near side of the vehicle itself, again, taking a good look, can't see signs of any dinks, any dents, or any damage. Uh, you've got a few light scratches to the paintwork, again, just requires a bit of a polish. You would expect a few here and there for its car, the car's age. Again, very light. Uh, front passenger door edge is spotless with no chips. Sills also in nice condition with just a couple of light scratches. All it really is is just a few age related marks, a couple of scratches onto the paintwork, etc., and to the mirror caps as well. Apart from that, though, guys, very clean. Near side front tyre, you've got around five to six mil of tread, so plenty there. None of the tyres would need changing. And yeah, I've got a bit of a curb mark on the near side front alloy. So again, it's up to you whether you uh, need to give a refurb. I wouldn't really suggest one, to be honest, for just that minor curb. Moving around to the front, you have got a good scuff to this near side front bumper, as you can see. And again, a bit of a scuff more towards the front. Just some minor scratches they'd polish out, and then some quite deep bits there. Stone chips to the front bumper and to the bonnet, but very few minor ones here and there. Literally just one or two just require some touchings. Apart from that guys, very clean condition to the bonnet and also to the front bumpers, no damage at all. A few bits of minor scuffs as you can see, someone's tried to paint it in very badly. And a couple of light stone chips. Immaculate car for its ages. So very little work needed to do into the outside. And it's just as nice in the interior as well. Looking on the driver's seat, you can see it, this uh, very funky design cloth. A little bit of wear into the holster there. No damage, no rips, no tears. Very clean looking as well. Taking a look in the uh, back seats here. Again, guys, it's spotless as you can see from the video. No damage, no rips or tears. Very nice condition. And you can clearly see the car has been taken care of over the years. Same with the passenger seat as well, great condition there, no problems. 
Look around the rest of the interior trim, very clean, no damage, no scratches to the dash, etc. Steering wheel's also in nice condition for its age, and everything looks very well. Step inside the car, I can shoot the mileage, etc. If we just shut the door and get the car started. Now you've got a few little marks to the door, as you can see. But again, you would expect a few here and there. And the same with your passenger door handle as well. Now you do get two sets of keys with the vehicle, which is great. And if we just get the car started. As you can see there, it does need an oil service. Car starts perfectly fine though, guys. I will say there's a slight little rattle. You might be able to hear it. It's a slight rattle, so do be uh, aware of that. 99,166 miles, so pretty low miles for its age. And no symbols on the dash appearing there other than the service light. Multifunction steering works perfectly fine. Looking at the setup, you've got a CD radio. No problems at all with this sound. Still sounds great. Uh, you've got air conditioning here, as you can see, like indicating there that it's on and off. And no problems at all with any of the blowers or any of the heat and it all works great. Manual transmission and no problems with any of the windows. Taking a quick look at the documents. Looking at the V5 here, the car has had four owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends here March 1st, 2014, so plenty left on the MOT. And just to top it off guys, we do get full franchise service history. Uh, full partial franchise, sorry. So your first one here at BMW, you've got uh, 14 there, 30 there. You've got 45 again, BMW, 61, that's done with the third ride at Shrewsbury. Then 76 there, done at a specialist. And then we have got one service receipt done at 92,000 miles. So about 7,000 miles ago it was last serviced. You can see all your service receipts here, or just the one, sorry, but all your, all your work done to the vehicle. Very recently serviced, so it's got full partial franchise service history. What more could you ask for, guys? Very clean looking 2003 BMW 316 Compact. Nice condition, plenty of service history. Nice car.